Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick little follow-up video to my um, Analog Dreams walkthrough, uh, just showing you a few little tricks and tips on how to reduce CPU load. Um, we all know that Omnisphere can get quite CPU heavy, especially when you're using it in multi-mode and stacking patch upon patch. Um, so I'm going to do this example with uh, my Analog Dream Multi because it's uh, quite a CPU heavy one. It's got eight patches all stacked on top of each other and all playing at the same time. So I use this one um, to give you an idea of the computer that I'm using. It's um, an iMac, but it's still quite a few years old. It's not a brand new iMac. Same with my laptop, actually. It's about three years old. So um, I'll also show you what my um, settings are inside Logic 2 if you want to um, kind of see how I've set that up. Um, as you can see here, I'm not actually using an audio interface uh, for this example. I'm just taking it out of the inbuilt sound card. Um, this isn't going to be a 100% um, true fair test because I'm also recording um, this video at the same time. So the audio, my voice um, and the screen capture as well. This will still give you an idea of how to reduce um, your CPU um, in Omnisphere. And I'll show you a, a little trick inside Logic as well at the end of this video too. Okay, so with this multi, um, the first thing that I did, um, as you can see up here, there's an original version that comes with the pack and then I've just created a CPU friendly version. Um, let's go to the CPU friendly version. So what I've done is I've found all of the proverb uh, reverb effects and I've reduced the CPU load down to 5% for all of those ones. So um, in the multi-mode, there's an effects rack on auxiliary one and also for all the individual patches. So if I go through here, um, there's one there that I reduced to 5%. Make sure you check all of these tabs um, because they can be in any or all of those. Um, so I've gone through, move them down to 5%. Um, now it does reduce the quality of the reverb, so it's up to your discretion how much you want to reduce that to. I know a couple of the patches are at 75% CPU load, so depending on what kind of computer, um, just obviously test out and see. Um, now the second thing that I did was I went to all these patches and made sure that I had the light version button uh, clicked for those. And then for this specific patch, I noticed one thing uh, that I changed for the light version. So as I showed before, I've got um, an effects rack stack on the auxiliary one. So I've also put the same effects rack on this patch. If you go to effects common, um, you can see, here we go, auxiliary. Um, I did have that full effects rack. It's exactly the same as it is here. Um, so all I did was just bypass all those and reduced um, the auxiliary return down to zero. And because I'm a little bit OCD, I had to reduce the send as well. Um, and to make up for that uh, missing reverb in the specific patch, um, I actually turned it up. So it was 50% and I turned it up uh, to make up for that missing reverb. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you the original. I'm just going to play one chord, move the mod wheel up um, and do that for both examples. And while I'm doing this, just take a look at the CPU uh, meter and see if you can notice the difference. I'll just wait for the other one to die out so it's a better comparison. Okay. As you could see in the second version, it didn't get anywhere near as high. Um, is it first one? Um, so those are a few little tricks and tips inside Omnisphere. Um, now there's another thing that you can do in Logic. I know some other doors actually have this feature as well as Logic. And it's this little freeze button here. Um, and what it basically does is it bounces the track and creates um, an audio file of it in the background. You don't actually see the audio file, but it will then play it from this um, audio file instead of actually playing the MIDI through on this fair and triggering all those patches and effects. So it reduces the CPU load down to almost nothing because it's basically replacing the MIDI 
with an audio file. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play one chord, record that and show you the CPU difference. Um, if you're wondering, Logic doesn't show this up by default. So you actually have to go tracker heading components and show freeze. It's showing up hide freeze because I already um, turned it on. But if I go there, there we go, show freeze. So I'm just going to record it um, and then freeze it and show you the difference. Okay, um, a little trick is make sure that your end marker of your project isn't um, too far away. I've just uh, set it up to uh, 30 there um, because if you have it in the hundreds, it's going to have to bounce it from there all the way to the end marker, um, which could take quite a while. So all you do, hit the freeze button, push play, and it's going to freeze it. Now, once it's frozen, um, you can't actually edit the MIDI. If I try to, you get this uh, message come up. So you just have to unfreeze it, edit it, and then refreeze it. Um, but check out how much CPU um, power it's saving you because it's frozen. It's basically next to nothing and it's also um, bypassing the plugin. So um, when it's idling, it's even less. Um, so a really good trick. If you do use Logic, um, try that out, especially if you're doing projects that have a lot of uh, layers in it. Um, another thing that you could try if you want to, one of my friends suggested it, is to actually um, duplicate the multi multiple times. So instead of having all patches on one, split it up so you have two, 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 two. So you can just kind of do this kind of thing. Um, you go remove part and obviously for all of these and uh, set that up so there's two on each one. He also suggested um, turning the, where is it? Let's go to one of these patches. I'm turning this to song position instead of legato. Um, and that way you're kind of splitting up um, Omnisphere over multiple cores because apparently um, Omnisphere only uses one core per instance. So if you're using a big multi like this one, it makes sense to split up the workload across multiple cores. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. Um, and on a little bit of a side note, uh, these patches have been reduced on multi tracks. Um, if you're liking that kind of multi style that I just showed you, this is a bundle of just all multis basically, and the individual patches are also included. Um, and this is for Omnisphere 1.5. So if you haven't updated to Omnisphere 2, uh, you can still use these in 1.5. Um, and another shameless plug, I'm still offering um, a producing service and gear hiring service um, via my website. So you just go to the services tab. Uh, scroll down, email me if you're interested. Um, and yeah, if you're wanting to know all the gear that I use too, um, check out the gear list. You can scroll down there and kind of see all the stuff that I'm using and um, from hardware to software. So that's all on my page, Peter James Productions. Cool. Uh, thanks again for your support and thanks again for watching.